Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome to your English number six. How was your day? How was your yes, Teddy? I was in the traffic for two hours. There was a terrible traffic. Wow. I'm sorry for that. Well, Lando, how was your first day back at work? Well, um, this was okay because I just had to work during the morning and in the evening I had to work. I had to rest, I mean, because I have a night shift. So I start to work again at 10 p.m. Oh, okay. Good, because mm -hmm. you are able to take the class and then go mm -hmm, to work. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So let's see. Today is our last class. We are going to have a, again, we are going to finish the review of the future tense. And we also have reading and a speaking practice. Okay. Oops, I forgot. So in this part, it should say, <laughs> give me a moment. share the screen. So first we have a review of the previous class, which is also a review of the future. And then we have practicing reading and also speaking with your homework, your assignment. I hope you did it. Well, we're going to start with the, with the exercises that I told you that we were going to have today. And in these exercises, we combine uh, the use of simple present, uh, present continuous, will be going to, and going to, to talk about the future. So we are going to solve the exercise together. You are going to help me. So you have to complete the blanks with present simple, present continuous, my, be going to, and will to talk about plan. Also, you have to use the verse in the box. You can use only once, each tense once. <clears throat> okay, we have the first one, it's a question. What do you think is the correct a correct word to use. What time is your friends at the library? Uh, I couldn't hear you well, Geraldine. Can you repeat, please? What time is your friend at the library? Okay, here. Uh -huh. you said a study. Mm, I think we I think we have another one. Another another verb. You need to use another verb. Meet. Okay, meet, yes. That is the verb. But what is the tense? Present simple, present continuous, my be going to or will. Mm -hmm. The verb is meet, but now the tense. What time do you meet your friends? What time are you meeting your friends? What time might you 
my you meet your friends what time are you going to meet your friends what time will you meet your friends So what sounds better? Or maybe we can continue and we can leave that one for the end. The Oscar ceremony, number two, the Oscar ceremony at 8 p.m. the next Sunday. We have a specific time and day. It's a schedule. Star. It starts, yes, starts. The Oscar ceremony starts at 8 p.m. the next Sunday. We can use the present simple because we have a day and a time a scheduled or program. Number three, I've decided. A study. That is the verb. Yes, Kevin, that's the verb. And what is the, the tense? The correct tense to use here. Will. Going to. Okay. It's like a decision already made, right? I've decided. I've decided I'm going to. Study computer science at university. It's a plan. I already decided it's my plan. Number four, mm -hmm. we're not sure. We are not sure. We Maybe going to watch. Okay, go to watch. Yes, that's the verb. But do you remember the tense that when you don't, you are not sure about the future? When it's a probability, we. We. Can you repeat? There was an interruption. I couldn't hear. Uh, we, are, we are. We are going. But we are not sure. We will. By yourself. Okay, we are missing present continuous, might, and will. But do you remember the last class? Mine. Mine. Yes. yes. Yesterday, we studied that when we are not sure, when it's a probability, we use might. We might go to watch a film tomorrow. We are not sure we might go to watch a film tomorrow. Okay. Number five, your idea is awesome. I. An offer or a promise? Well, in this case, it's an, an offer or a decision taken at the moment. Will. Exactly, will. Your idea is awesome. I will, and the verb is? Right. Right. Your idea is awesome. I will write it down. So we already use. And uh, let me see. We already use the present simple, might be going to, and will. So, what is the number one? It's missing present continuous. Are meeting teacher? What time are you meeting your friends at the library? What time are you meeting your friends at the library? Right? It's already planned. Okay. So we have present continuous, present simple, uh, be going to, my, and will um, to talk about the future. 
Now here we have some predictions. Predictions. Let's see. We have to complete the brackets. We might be going to and will to talk about predictions. Use the verb in bracket. We have the example. You've done a fantastic project. You'll win an award, I'm sure. It's like a, a prediction, right? You will win an award, I'm sure, because you've done a fantastic project. Okay, what about the number two? It says, next year, enough money to open another shop. I hope so. It's a prediction for the future. So next year, we will, uh, we will, okay. We will have enough money to open another shop. I hope so. Okay, number three. Now she's in the last 100 meters or 100 meters. She break the world record by several seconds. Amazing. She's going. Uh huh. She's going to. She's, she's going, going to, to break. Break. Okay. We have evidence, right? Because she is in the last one hundred meters. And uh, number four, they are so creative. I'm sure they. The prediction. They will. Okay. They will be. They will be a success. I'm sure they will be a success. Okay, think about the next one. Think about the next one. Uh -huh. Any idea? She's mine. She's mine. Let's Is see. Probably. <laughs> She's on the last chapter, number five. She's on the last chapter of her novel now. I think she. She's going. She's going to finish. Okay, very good. Oops. She's going to finish. She's going to finish it this week. We have evidence because she's on the last chapter. Okay, number six, they win the league, but they are not the only good team. In... So we have to use two. I think so, is mine. Yeah, very good. They might win the league, but they're not the only good thing. If mm -hmm. a prediction. Won't be easy. It will not be, yes, or it won't be. It will not be easy, right? It will not be easy. Seven, the way things are going with the business, we... not make a fortune. The way things are going with the business, that's a good... Uh-huh.
Yeah. But you have an idea here. The way things are going with the business, we... What do you what do you think? It's a prediction. Based on everything. We're going. We're not. One nay. We are not we're not going. We're not going to make the same negative form. The way things are going with the business, we are not going to make a fortune or a lot of money. And the last exercise, he's a great actor. An Oscar one day, I know. Leonardo DiCaprio is a great actor. He will get. Very good, he will get. He will get an Oscar one day, I know. <laughs> okay, now let's, let's check. If we are right, oh, okay. I think this is was a contraction. The same here because it's the it's the only one missing. But I think it's because of the contractions. Okay. Yeah, the others are correct, so this might be correct. It's the contraction missing. Okay. But yes. Very good job, very good job. I can see that you internalize the use of their future tense. So now let's go over the class. We were, let's go back to the class presentation. Okay, I told you that today we were going to review the use of hope, hope for the future. We can see the different ways we can use the verb hope. What happened, Anna? <laughs> okay, for example, we can use the present simple or the future simple, but it's more common to use the present simple. And the meaning doesn't change. I hope that she comes to the party tomorrow. I hope that she will come to the party tomorrow. Okay, and it has, and it's the same. We can also use can, I hope you can come to the party tomorrow. And we can use two plus infinitive. I hope to come to the party tomorrow, which means I hope I can come. And I hope to run a marathon this year. So these are, we can, we can see the two ways to use hope. When you hope for yourself, you hope yourself to do something or you hope someone else to do something. For example, when it's yourself, we have subject plus hope plus infinity, right? And the other one, when we hope somebody else, we have the subject plus hope. That is optional, but you can use it or not. It's optional. I will put it in parentheses because it's optional. We can omit it. Plus the object pronoun. The object pronoun can be you, her, him, oh, subject, sorry, sorry, it's a subject pronoun, another subject pronoun. You, he, she, it, they, or we. 
plus, and here is where you can you can use uh, the present simple, or you can use will plus verb, or you can use can right plus verb. Different way. Um, an example. I will write here an example for you for each form. I want to change the color. Okay, for example, subject plus infinity could be subject plus hope and infinity. I don't want to change the color. Uh, I have to visit my mother this weekend. This coming weekend. Or I hope to see. I hope to see my mother this coming weekend. But when we expect or we hope uh, that someone else does something, we say, I hope that my mother cooks something delicious. Or I hope that my mother cooks my favorite dish. In this case, I'm using the present simple. But I can use will, for example. I hope my mom will cook my favorite food or my favorite dish. And with can, I hope my sister can come too. Right? So different way. I hope plus a subject pronoun or the subject. In this case, my sister. I can use present simple, will, or can. Okay? Now it's your turn. It's your turn to make your examples. Let's do it the, the, first, the first way. Subject plus hope plus infinity. Can we make those examples? I will wait for your examples. While you make them, while you work on them, I'm going to take the attendance, the last attendance of this course. Let's see, a later. Teacher, <laughs> teacher, I want teacher. a question. Teacher, yeah? I have one question. Uh, and that's Anna? Uh, this coming is like uh, the next week. Can you repeat, Anna? You're right. Uh, I hope to see my mother this coming weekend. Yes. And this coming weekend is like uh, this next week. Weekend. Yes, next weekend. Okay. And mm -hmm. I and I, I have a, I have a second question. Okay. Uh, Hope I can use uh, instead of uh, I'm going to or will or might. No. Yeah, you can you can also use it. Thank I you. hope Thank you. she's going to win. But in that, I mean, when you use be going to, you are sure of something or you have a plan. So that's why in this case, we use the infinitive, the present simple or will, because it's more like something you expect, like a probability. You're not 100% sure that it will happen, but you hope it happens. 
So that's why we have this using these ones, present simple, will, and can. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, Aleida Samira? Is she in the class? Present. Aleida. Ana Beatriz Martínez. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Andrea Esperacosta. Here, Miss. Thanks. Brandon Steven. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brandon. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Caleb Ariel. I think he's not present today. Efraín Emilio. Uh, Geraldine Lizard. Present. Virginia Tobar. Present. Yes, Ingrid Maricela. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Irma Adriana Segura. Present. Irma. Jacqueline Vanessa García. Present. José Alejandro Vaquerano. Present teacher. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, José Alejandro. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Juan José García. Thank you, Juan. Juan José García. Julio César Alfaro. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Julio Alfaro. Kevin Josías Flores. Kevin Flores. Not present today. Eh, Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar. Present teacher. Very good. Luis Ernesto Montoya. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. María José Navarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Merin Daniela Carranza. Daniela Carranza. Milagro Jiménez. I'm here. Good. Mirna Janet Landos. Presentation. Nelson Adán Cerón. Ok, Nelson Adán Cerón Medina. And Patricia Esmeralda García Fune. Present teacher. Very good. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Corea. Okay, not present. Sandra Rivas. Sandra Mosa de Polanco. Stephanie Quintanilla. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present teacher. Ah, thank you, Valeria. Oh, okay, so we have... Okay, Sandra Correa is here. In the chat. Good. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> yes, Kevin, I said your name, Kevin Josias Flores. Present. Hey, Kevin. Alguien más que no escuchó su nombre o que acaba de entrar? Ya puse ahí a Juan Josias. Ay, Daniela, Merin Daniela. Yeah, I'm here, so. Okay. <laughs> nice. Somebody else? Good. 
Okay, absences today I have Stephanie, Sandra Mosa, Sandra Rivas, and Ingrid Flores, and Caleb Rivera. Good. So now uh, I, I'm going to read your messages, your examples. Okay, Geraldine, in that case, Saria, I hope my best friends invite me to the cinema on Saturday. In this case, you don't need to use to. Solo usamos to cuando hay otro verbo inmediatamente. En este caso es subject, my best friends. I hope my best friends invite me to the cinema. Very good. I hope to see the Barbie movie this Saturday with my daughter, okay? I hope to see my girlfriend tomorrow. Mm, good luck, Nelson. Ana Beatriz, I hope to speak this language someday. You already speak, Ana. <laughs> I hope that everybody comes to my party. Really? Everybody comes to my party, okay, Anna? If you invite us, if you send an invitation, I hope you can buy the sneakers that you like. Oh, thank you, Anna. I hope that they come to my birthday celebration tomorrow night. Milagro, it's your birthday tomorrow. And you also- No, it isn't. <laughs> it's just... just an example. Okay. Very good, you're using with the present simple, with will and can. They hope to come to my birthday celebration tomorrow night. Very good. And infinity. Teacher present. <laughs> Just kidding. I hope he can sing my favorite song. Oh, that's nice, Anna. Okay, good. Thank you for your examples. Now, guys, we're going to have some reading practice. I think reading is very important when you are learning a language because you learn how. You, you can learn about grammar when you read because you see how the sentences are structured and you can learn a lot of vocabulary and reading comprehension. So over here we have a question. I'm sorry, I saw Milagro yawning. <laughs> okay, how did Mervyn King K cross the Irish Sea? That is a question. The, the first reading is unique experiences. How much is that pizza? Okay, um, Juan Jose Garcia, would you like to read this paragraph? How much is that pizza? Or any other volunteer? Me teacher. Yeah. Okay, Anna, we listen to you. How much is that pizza? Do you like pizza? Do you, are, do you, like, do you really like pizza? Uh, do you like pizza enough to spend over 100 on one? Some people that, some people do. And here's the reason why. Truffles are similar to mushrooms, but they grow on the ground. They are extremely expensive. They can cost hundreds of dollars each. Pizza usually only cost a few dollars, but some people have paid as much as 178 to eat pizza with French white truffle on it. Celebrate. Uh, can you hear me, Tisha? Celebrate. How can I read this, this word? Celebrity TV, TV? chef Gordon TV Gordon Ramsay has won a place in the Guinness Book of Records for inventing this expensive dish. For inventing. 
an expensive pizza <laughs> because it has an expense, very expensive ingredients. Thank you, Anna. Okay, we have the next text. Do you sleepwalk? I need another volunteer to read it. Geraldine, please. Okay. Did you know that some people walk in the in their Would you probably do because it's surprising? common problem. In fact, almost a third of the USA always has a... Sorry, Geraldine. Maybe you can turn off your camera so that your signal can be better. And we can hear you clearly. Just turn off the camera. Uh, let me see. Start again. Okay. Did you know? Did you know that some people were in their sleep? Would you probably do because it's surprising come problem? In fact, all a third of the USA population has and we will walk out at some point. In their lives. In their lives. The actress Jennifer Aniston is one of them. Jennifer has said the vulgar alarm in her house by walking around while she walked to sleep. Thank you. Thank you, Geraldine. Okay. We need more, more, more. We have two more texts. Another volunteer to read set sail in a bathtub. Maria Jose. Okay. Set sail in a bathtub. Have you ever dreamed of going on a really big adventure? One man has crossed the Irish Sea in a bathroom. Yes, you heard that right. Mary Fitzgerald has sailed from New Zealand to Scotland in a bathroom with a small engine attached. Even better, Mervyn has raised a lot of money of charity. His friends and family have already donations. Thank you, Maria Jose. And the last one. Oh, no, I hit 10. Me, teacher? Go ahead. All right. Have you ever pushed send on a text message and then realized you just sent a text to the wrong person? Hopefully not. But Bourne Brown has. This third 30 year old software engineer has just sent 30 cute pictures of his baby to his boss instead of his mom. Luckily, his boss is a good guy and understand the mistake. Understood the mistake. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your reading and your pronunciation. Everyone works very good. Okay. So now we have to see how much we understand from the reading. We are going to read the news report and check true or false. Pizza is very expensive in the US, true or false? True, true, false. Let's understand, let's see, let's go back to the, to the first text. And well, it says over here, pizza usually only costs a few dollars. Mm -hmm. Usually costs a few dollars, but some people have paid as much as 117 to eat pizza with fresh white truffles on it. 
south. Pizza is very expensive in the US, true or false? For me, it's false. Oh, it's false. It is not very expensive, but if you want to eat a pizza with truffles, yes, that's expensive, but only that one. Number two, truffles grow underground. True. That is true. true. It, they are similar to mushrooms, but the difference is that they grow underground. Okay? Underground. Number three, Mervyn King K didn't use a boat for his journey. True or false? Okay, let's go back to the text. It says, Mervyn King K has sailed from Ireland to Scotland in a bathtub with a small engine attached. So what do you think? Mervyn King K didn't use a bow for his journey, true or false? True. It's true, true. he didn't use a boat. What did he use? A bathtub. A bathtub. <laughs> Imagine with an engine. Okay, number four. Mervyn King <laughs> crossed the Irish Sea to pay for his bathtub. He crossed the sea True. to pay for his bathtub. Uh, no, false. It's false. He false. crossed the Irish Sea to make donations for charity, right? Not to pay his bathtub. Okay, number five. Sleepwalking is extremely rare. Sleepwalking, like sleep. It's, it's false. false. I mean, it's walking while you sleep. It's false. It's false. <laughs> because it's common. It's very common. That's nice. That's right. Uh, there was a lot of noise when Jennifer Allison walked in her sleep. Yes. It's true. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> It says the actress Jennifer Aniston is one of them. Jennifer has set up the bull glow alarm in her own house by walking around while she was asleep. So she activated the the alarm for burglars. For burglars, yes, or for thieves. So it's true. Bob Brown sent photos to his boss. Yes, it's true. He sent the photos to the boss, to the boss, but he wanted to send. Who did he wanted to? Who did he want to send the pictures to? His mom. To his mother. Bob's boss was very angry about the baby pictures. Thanks, Thanks, boss. He was a nice boss. Okay, so these these readings are about unique experiences. <laughs> yeah, we all have had some embarrassing experiences, right, in our lives. Maybe. Yeah, I I won't tell you my experiences because they are very embarrassing. <laughs> okay. But um, we have some minutes um, for you to present your biographies. I want to listen to you so you can have your speaking time right now. This is, this is the best time of the class when the students speak. And they show their speaking skills in English. Okay. 
we have the first volunteer is to share your biography. Tan 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 tan. Tan 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 tan. Who will say me, teacher? Who is ready? Victim? Me teacher. Oh. <laughs> Me teacher. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for volunteering. Okay. We are we are all ears. My name is Ana Beatriz Martinez. I was born on 23 April and 1974 in San Salvador. I live with my husband and my two sons. Their age are 23 and 12 years old. I'm a secretary and this moment an employee. But my goals are see my sons graduate, find a new job, and I can speak English someday. Thank you. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Great job. Okay, very good. And now we are going to listen to me, teacher. Lorena, thank you so much, Lorena. <laughs> My name is Lorena Mejibar. I was born on January 15, uh, 1972 in San Salvador. I study public relations and communication. I have three children and four dogs and three cats. <laughs> Only that. You have a big family, a large family. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lorena. Um, uh, I was going to ask you something. Ah, when did you get married? When did you get married? Meet. Yes, Lorena. Yes, I married. Okay, yeah, but when? When did you get married? Um, uh, uh, you don't remember. For the for the shoes, I what? Married? Is correct? I got married in January uh, twenty eighth. Um, yeah, año pasado. Last year. Last, last year. year. Okay. <laughs> I have a uh, 20, 30, um, 33 years with my husband. Okay. You can say I have been married for 33 years. Because did you get, I mean. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Oh, I, I have been with my husband for 33 years. Okay, very good. Yes. Wow, that's nice. 33 years. It's alive. So, congratulations. <laughs> okay, we are going to listen to someone else. Me, Go ahead. Short life, but very interesting. <laughs> My name is Maria Jose Najarro. I was born in San Salvador on December 7, uh, 27, 1994. I have, um, I live, sorry, I live with my my dad, my mom, and my two brothers. Um, I studied at the University of El Salvador with a degree in agricultural engineering. My goals for the future are to have my own 
diversified farm where I can have my cows, my pigs, horse, and my chickens. Ah, oh, Maria Jose, that's very nice of you. Thank you for, for sharing with us. So you are an agriculture engineer. Interesting. Is the second person I know with that degree. And then we are going to listen to We still have some minutes. If not, I'm going to choose the next person is going to be Patricia. Are you ready? <coughs> yes, teacher. <coughs> okay, good evening. My name is Patricia Garcia. I was born in the city of San Miguel in February. I live in Comalapa, La Paz, since five years old. And I have two brothers, Oscar and Eduardo. And I and my daughter, <laughs> her name is Belen, and my mother is Norma. So I studied three years at the University of El Salvador. And in the picture, I see myself speaking English very well. <laughs> and my daughters too. And um, a good job. And you Lots. will, okay, you expect <laughs> to get a good job. Thank you, Patricia. You already speak English very well. But yeah, continue and you will get it. Okay, somebody else. Juan David. Juan David. Juan Jose. So maybe they are too decent. Okay, somebody else? Valeria? Okay. My name is Valeria Alfaro. I was born in Sonsonat 22 years ago. I finished high school. I am currently living in San Salvador with my uncle. I study social work and at the University del Salvador. Nine months, months ago, I graduate, graduated as a chef. In the future, I will dedicate myself to work in either of the two, two things. Yeah, you will work in? Can you repeat your last idea? Oh. Well, she she went away. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, somebody else is ready. Okay, Valeria, you have problem with the connection. Yeah, your last idea. Can you repeat, please? Valeria? No, le escuchamos, Valeria. Yeah, I think she's having problems. Eh, Milagro? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Clear and loudly. My name is Mili Jimenez. I was born in La Union, January. I have two siblings. 
uh, other brother and a younger sister. Um, in the middle, I'm a single lady living with my mom. I'm an engineer working as a custom officer in a Matthias border. I really like English and I want to speak it really good. I like to read a lot of books too. That's all. Thank you, Elias. Um, yeah, and that's why you can speak English very well because you read a lot. That is thanks, Miss. Practice. Good. Okay. Someone else, maybe Luis, Sandra, Geraldine, Jacqueline. We still have chance for one more person. This is your opportunity. Yeah, I thank you yesterday why you have to include yes, your life. It's like your autobiography, to autobiography. You want to try one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Juan Garcia. I have 27 years old. Um, I live in Chalatenango with my wife and my dog. And I work in my business every day. Uh, and a student, I student English in English Corporativo. That's all. Okay, Juan Jose, thank you. <laughs> Just one observation that's very important. When you say your age, you use the verb to be, okay? Don't say I have, please. Okay, so I am. Okay, okay. I am 27 years old. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, okay, Alejandro, okay. You're, you wanted to participate, Alejandro? Yes. Okay. We'll Hello, listen. everyone. Huh? Hello, okay. everyone. My name is Alejandro Baquerano. I am 30, 38 years old. I was born in San Salvador. I live with my parents. Uh, I have two brothers. My my brother has 42 years old and my sister has uh, 36 and my sister she is, has, is 36 years yeah. old and, and she has a child too and i studied english at ccsa for about uh, 10 years ago and i forgot some some words and I and I I'm studying I'm studying right now English uh, in English corporativo. Este, um, I um, I'm graduated um, uh, from technician systems or system technicians. I mean, I don't know. How how do you say that? And and I would like to find a better job, and I would like to to work in, in a call center in, in English and uh, on, I would like to work in, in, in the works in the work and where my sister works. She works in Metropolitan Delivery Warehouse and, and, and that, that is a good job and that's it. Okay, with a good salary, I imagine. <laughs> yes. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Alejandro. You see, um, I like this exercise because, well, you can express yourself and you can try and you can face your fears, right? If you want to speak English, you need to practice it. It's like if you want to learn how to ride a bicycle or a car, you can read instructions, but you need to sit on the bicycle or sit on the car and turn it on 
and start driving, right? That's the same when you speak English. You need to speak. <laughs> okay, guys, it was a pleasure to be with you these four weeks. I hope you have a nice vacation in August, and I hope to see you very soon, okay? So have a good night, and it was a pleasure. Bye, okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, it was a pleasure, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.